Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory. I got to build and test the UKIT's MT1 antenna tuner. Now I get to show it to you. I've hooked up the MT1 to a QRP transceiver. That's the UKIT's EK1A I reviewed last month, and an antenna. Now let's put the key down, but first I'll switch over to SWR here on this switch. Lock the key down. And here we have some higher SWR. Let's lower it down by adjusting the inductor and the capacitor. So we'll just kind of tune here, tune it down, tune it down, do some adjustments, tune it down, and we'll get the lowest possible reading of this meter here, all the way down to the left. Once we do that, we can measure the power output over here. And I've calibrated this meter so that 100 on this meter on the lower scale reads 5 watts. Well, it doesn't read 5 watts, but 100 corresponds to 5 watts of output power. The MT1 is pretty simple. Your transceiver hooks up right here at this BNC connection. Here's the meter for SWR and power. Your inductance and your capacitance adjustments. It's just an LC tuner. And where your wire hooks up here and the ground connection. Great for end feeding wires. Now let's take a look at the inside and we can see a little bit of the construction. Here's the tuning capacitor. The tuning inductor is mounted right to the bottom of this switch here. The leads are very short, hence this tuner has very low loss on a lot of its settings. And of course, this is the sensor board here. The UKIT's MT1 combined with a small QRP transceiver makes an ideal portable station for backpacking or any vacation fun. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory.